In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be doing an inside the mind gameplay and kind of talking a little bit about um, my offensive and defensive philosophy in Madden 21 and breaking down kind of some of my adjustments so that you can see uh, what goes through my mind in a game of Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, we normally do Madden 21 tips and tricks. Uh, we do four of those videos every single day. We post at 2 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We also live stream every single night uh, where I actually break this stuff down live for you on my YouTube uh, channel and on my Twitch channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, I would highly encourage you to do that. And if you haven't joined the Discord, I would also encourage you to join the Discord. That link is in the description. If you don't know what Discord is, it's basically a communication platform. It's an ability um, to talk Madden pretty much 24-7 with people from my community. So um, if you haven't already joined the Discord, I would highly, highly encourage you to do so. Um, now what I'm going to do, and this is kind of what I've started doing recently, honestly, just because um, I really like having all my audibles and being able to go to all my formations. So I'm just going to take... Um, a delay a game here and the and, and really just because i'm gonna take a couple i'm gonna take two delay games i'll start out with first 20. sometimes they accept it sometimes they don't uh if you get a good opponent uh they don't always accept it sometimes obviously they do and you start out with the first and 20 but uh, in my opinion my offense is is good enough to handle first and 20 so uh, it's not that big of a deal uh, now i'm running my arizona cardinals offensive ebook which you can pick up in the description of this video uh, if you haven't already picked it up it's over uh, 125 pages of material with really really solid uh, just breakdowns and shows you how to really um, run the air read offense in madden nfl 21 if that's something you're interested in i personally um, am just fascinated with how the air raid offense works and how it can actually be implemented in madden 21 it's a relatively simple scheme, but in my opinion, it's a very, very effective uh, scheme. So what we're going to do here coming out to start is, as you can see, obviously we're in a first 15. He did accept the penalty, um, but he only accepted one, which is a good good sign. So anyways, we're just going to come out and run uh, mesh post essentially out of the, out of the spread. And uh, what I like to do here from the start is I like to just take this drag. This drag is um, probably my favorite route, has been slowly becoming my favorite route in the game. Um, because it's just, it's, it's kind of always there. Um, it's kind of always open. It's one of those routes that, you know, just consistently beats, you know, pretty much every coverage in the game, especially if you have, um, a Chris Cooley at tight end. Uh, I think he's definitely the best tight end in the game right now. Um, uh, just has the best ratings and, uh, just, just really does good. I really value route running in this year's game. Um, so you'll notice that, you know, pretty much with the exception of Tyreek Hill, I mean, they all meet the route running thresholds. So you see here, I mean, I'm going to have a pretty easy time beating man-to-man -man coverage. If he's going to run man-to-man -man coverage, Taylor Mays is not going to be able to stick with um, with my with my uh, my little uh, tight end there, Chris Cooley, on that drag. Even though it's a very simple route, it has to do with the route running of the receivers. That's why I highly recommend, um, if you want to be able to kind of run any offense in this game, I would really, really encourage you to make sure that you have um, decent route running from all your receivers. Uh, right here, I'm just going to kind of test him a little bit. And just kind of peek and see what he's running. Looks like he's still running that cover one robber. Um, so we'll just take our, our little shallow cross. Um, and as you can see, I think that was uh, Cliff Harris that was in man coverage on uh, Chris Cooley right there. But so far, a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Um, nothing I haven't seen before. Um, now, if he keeps with this man-to-man -man coverage, we're going to go to shallow cross again. If he keeps with that man-to-man -man coverage and that safety on the right side or in the middle of the field, uh, we'll actually be able to get him. Let's see if he presses here. He does shade coverage over top. Um, and we're just going to go to our little dig route. As you can see, um, with him not having one step ahead on his corners, it's really going to make it uh, a lot simpler uh, for me to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Right here, I'm going to check down to uh, one of my latest favorite plays in this game, and this little screen pass. Uh, and what you'll see is this corner oftentimes will blitz off the edge if they're not in a if they're not in a, a good defense, if they're playing an aggressive defense or they're playing some kind of uh, man coverage. So this is one of my favorite ways to beat. Um, beat anyone that runs a lot of man is to use this little RPO and some principles from that to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. Right here, um, I'm going to go to this wide corner play and primarily just, um, I'm actually really liking double slants. I know it sounds crazy, but um, this double slant concept right here, if he's in man-to-man -man coverage and he is in man-to-man -man coverage, I'm going to be able to hit that slant pretty much every single time, especially with the kind of man the the man-to-man -man coverage that he's running. So when he's in man-to-man -man coverage, I'm going to be able to hit that. And, and so far, what we've seen so far is I'm pretty sure we've seen nickel 335, cover one robber press with shade coverage over top every single play. So we'll see here. He does blitz his corner again off the edge, and we're going to get in for six. 
So pretty clean drive right there for the offense. Um, and that's what I'm talking about. When you have all your plays uh, and you have everything that you need to be effective, uh, this really does uh, help, in my opinion, uh, with your offense. So what I'm doing here is just kind of continuing to set up my, my plays here, uh, get my audible set uh, real quick. And I don't want to take any more delay of games because if I take another delay of game, uh, I'm going to be kicked out, obviously, so I don't want to do that. Uh, but if you guys have any questions um, about what you're seeing in the gameplay or if you want to get better in Madden, I would highly encourage you to join my text message membership. It's completely free to join that. Um, all you got to do is text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description of this video. Um, and I break down um, different types of high-level Madden tips every single week. These are videos that I don't really post on YouTube. Um, I don't For my YouTube audience, I don't post on Discord. Um, for my Discord audience, I only give these to my text message members. And they're just basically really high-level concepts that I believe can really take your game to the next level. Most of the time, those videos are... Um, over an hour or at least over 45 minutes sometimes they're even over an hour but um, I'd highly encourage you to check that out if you uh, have thought about wanting to get better at this game it's just a really really high level um, kind of deep dive on some things that it's hard to just you know talk to just a, a standard YouTube video about um, I'm actually really so I'm in nickel 335 I love nickel 335 I just think it's it's the best defense um, that I have seen and and what I'll do is I'll go from nickel three three five and I'll go into um, what I like about it is you can press from it uh, I actually really like that about the defense uh, you don't really have to worry about uh, you do have to worry about post routes but not ton uh, you basically have to worry about the underneath uh, with this defense that I'm running lately um, which allows me to be really really aggressive with my user it kind of just you know lurk underneath again if they run some you know under more underneath principles or any passing concepts then i'll be in a little bit of you know i'll have a little bit of issue but overall i really like this defense um like i said this defense is broken down in my ebook in the description so the the ebook has both uh my full offense and my full defense it also has been updated throughout the season so it's kind of the most up-to-date version of what i'm running um so if you haven't already picked up the ebook uh, i would highly recommend it and um you know, like I said, it, it's got, it's really dense. It's really deep. It, it, it doesn't just cover 335. It, it covers uh, 335. It covers 335 um, wide. It covers 46 normal, 46 bear, 46 speed, uh, 46 bear under. It covers all that. Um, now, I haven't seen a ton of people running five wide, but from what I've seen in five wide here, um, it's not that, it's, if the thing that I, when I run five wide, the thing that I, you know, really wonder if I can do is can I beat man press consistently? Um, so we're going to go to a little cover one robber here and see what he does. And we got everybody manned up across here. Looks like he flipped the play. But on my defensive line, this is kind of something I have just like recently started doing. Um, but I'm running. Oh, dang, that Reggie Bush just roasted Deion Sanders. Uh, I'm running three defensive linemen uh, with chemistries. Uh, so I'm not going to blitz a ton. Uh, and the primary reason for that is because uh, I, I just think I don't think the game is designed um, to be quite honest. I don't think the game is designed to be very effective for blitz blitz heavy this year. Um, I think you can blitz in certain pockets. Uh, and that's why the three, three, five wide. I love having that in my book. Uh, I also have the nickel normal in case I really wanted to dial up some pressure. Um, but as a general rule, I got three different alignment. Now all of my defensive linemen have the, um, they have the ability uh, to basically, you know, oh, good read. Um, they have the abilities. Uh, they have double or nothing, I believe. And then they also have, um, they also have, um, gosh dang it, what's it called? Uh, strip specialist. And there we go. Oh, Cliff Harris missed that. Dang it. He was going to get him for a touchdown. That's crazy. Right there. That's a product of me not putting my zone drops. I forgot to put these at 20. If that was at 20, that would have been an interception. I still think it kind of should have been, but that's okay. So he went right down the field on me relatively easy. I was surprised. I've, I've not seen a lot of five wide this year. Um, I know that Ant Cap's been working on some stuff out of five wide. So I'm sure whatever he's got uh, is very, very effective. I think it's out of the Steelers book. Um, I've done some five wide myself, but but my issue with five wide has been if you got a good user and you run man press on it, I think it can be kind of hard to move the ball, but... Anyway, all right, so we just got to get back on offense and go score. Uh, obviously, he's going to go out half, so it's a really critical possession for me. Um, 
I get one clock stock but stoppage with this two minute warning here. The clock's gonna stop automatically, regardless of what I do. So I might run the ball here just to see, you know, just to see what he's doing with his defense. If he's still in that cover one, I should have the screen on the left. If not, I'll just hand the ball off. And he he adjusted to it, which is nice. So we'll just hand the ball off, take our three yards. Um, you know, just kind of a simple play, but I think just a really effective play. And again, a lot of cover one, um, but he might shift to some zone coverage. It looked like he probably was in zone there. I'm not sure for sure. Nah, 100% sure, but um, we'll take a look here. So it still looks like, you see how the corners are looking at the receivers? Like that's kind of your tell that they're in man, but he might be in zone. So we're going to run a little um, kind of two, two for one concept here and see. We'll get Bush out of the backfield. Uh, Bush, in my opinion, is the best running back in Mutt, and the reason why um, has nothing to do with his necessarily raw abilities. He does have good raw abilities um, and good raw like good raw ratings, but it has everything to do with the fact that he has get, he gets backfield master, and backfield master is only one AP. And so with with backfield master, what that allows you to do is it allows you to put him on flat routes like that, but also um, because he has backfield master. If he faces like a Taylor Mays or something like that, he'll get open quite a bit um, against the against the safety. So here, looking like more man press, we're gonna go to eight shell across. Um, this is one of my one of my favorite plays for man press. If they if they do man press me, uh, and what you'll see here, I can just shoot the back right out of the backfield here. Just a simple route. Uh, right now, we're looking pretty good on offense, ten and ten. I'm telling you right now, um, the way Madden works, uh, at least in this year's game, at least from what I'm seeing is if you're willing to take your check down you're gonna have a lot of fun in this game if you're not willing to take your check down you're gonna be very frustrated in this game um you got to be willing to take your your little quick reads uh when you have them open because what happens as you see right there you're gonna open up these things in behind it uh relatively easily so i'm gonna go to eight shell cross here just because and i'm sure i don't know how i look at um how do i look at the there we go um i want to see what he's got on uh Dang it, we're, we're going to run out of time, so we're just going to snap this. Uh, eight shell across again. And we got him over the top. Touchdown. Nice read. That's eight shell across. So I was trying to figure out was what, whether or not Deion Sanders has one step ahead. It doesn't really matter because Chad Johnson has um, the the over 90 deep route running. But that was a big drive for us, uh, being able to get out in front here. And again, a lot of people run man-to-man -man when you see spread. Um from the Arizona playbook, in my opinion, it's not a good strategy to run man-to-man -man against it um, unless you got a really, really, really good user and you can get some really good pressure out of that. Um, what I might do on this next drive is just mix it up and run some uh, in-your-face kind of man pressure. Obviously, with 46 seconds left, you you it, it's, it's kind of critical that I at least hold him to three here. Um, if he goes down and scores a touchdown, that's going to put him in a, a decent position because he gets ball at half. That's why whoever gets ball at half is so important, and I always recommend that if you're gonna if you're going to um, it looks like he's gonna go down to make iPhone close. Um, so we're gonna go to a little cover one. There's PA tight end league. Where's that crossing route? There it is. I thought I dropped a purple over there, but it looks like I didn't. And I have noticed that I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but from what I've seen, um, at least right now, um, let's see right there, right there. I got the running back. And rolls out. Is that Joe Montana? All right. All right. Good read. Um, but what I've noticed is that and right here, uh, we're just going to go cover four and drop. I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it out. Doesn't seem too interested in running the ball from their center, so. back right there that's my ball nice play let's take it back let's see if we can get through that little shoot right there that's a huge play in the game um so right there uh just cover four drop and i just kind of tried to fake the crossing route like i was going the crossing route and was able to get underneath it looks like he's gonna go ahead and quit out um but but from what i've noticed the adjustments on defense have been slowly you know they're, they're it's not been as easy to adjust so that's where i think some of those Having some of those stuff pre-done for you is really important and understanding what you're going to do in certain situations, having a game plan. So anyways, guys, that's our first Inside the Mind video uh, so far. So let me know what you thought about this. If you enjoyed these videos, if you enjoyed the breakdown, um, if this was helpful, let me know. Also, if you haven't joined the text message membership, just shoot me a text message. My number is 
216-326-3644. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Our next video is going to be live at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And then the next one will be at 6. And the next one will be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock. So thanks, guys. And we'll see you guys in a bit.